Hello? Hello! I'm back today with another declutter video. I am very committed to this series. Not only because it feels very satisfying to purge expired and old products and I get like a sense of relief with each declutter, but also because I cannot wait to film the process of me reorganizing everything that I've kept in my makeup dresser. I really look forward to that day. Today I'm going to be decluttering my single eyeshadows, my eyeshadow primers, and my eyeshadow crayon and cream shadow type products. If you guys enjoy these videos, please give this one a thumbs up. If you've missed my previous declutters, I will list them all in the description box below, and I'll also link a playlist in the top right hand corner of this video. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed, and let's get into it. I think this might actually be the smallest pile of makeup that I've decluttered so far. Kind of excited about that. My last video was 30 something minutes, so hopefully we can get through this pretty quickly. I've got a basket full of powder eyeshadows, single powder eyeshadows, as well as cream shadows. Here I have a little bin of cream shadow crayons, some cream shadow tubes. Over here I have my paint pots and my eyeshadow primers. Can we just talk about my nails? I did these on myself. I cannot believe that I did these myself. These are probably the prettiest nails I've done. They are gel and I'm very excited to edit this video and get it up. If it hasn't gone up yet, keep an eye out for it. If it has gone up, I will put it in the top right hand corner of this video. I just thought I'd talk about it because I'm so enthused about my manicure today and I love the sound of long nails in declutters for some reason like it's just very soothing to my ears and I know I'm not alone there anyway I was gonna declutter everything straight from this basket but it's just too overwhelming for me so I think I'm gonna lay everything out on the rug by brand as I normally do it's just way more organized that way I can see everything in one place so let's do it I'm gonna start with the NYX shadows that are directly in front of me. The round ones are matte, the little square one is not matte. This one has a little bit of shimmer. It is called Skin Tight. I'm gonna keep this for a little while longer because I don't think I've used it very much. I really like their single matte shadows, so I'm definitely gonna keep all six. Let's just go through them one by one in case you're wondering what the names of these are. This is Dance the Tides. It's a beautiful milk chocolate brown. Blame it on Midnight. This is like a really beautiful transition shade. Craving, love a good cool toned gray. Lap dance, which is not picking up as yellow on camera. Birthday suit, which you can tell I really like. This is such a pretty shade. And I have a headache. That's the name of the shadow. I'm not telling you that I have a headache. Although that is the story of my life. This is a nice shade as well for all over the lid, brow bone, all sorts of things. Let us go through these old ass L'Oreal hip eyeshadows because these bring me back. These remind me of old school YouTube days, the beginning of my channel. I'm gonna declutter all of these even though they bring back very great memories. Farewell. I have just a whole bunch of Essence eyeshadows and I actually really like their shadows. I think they're pretty good, especially the metallic ones. They're really intense, very pigmented, very creamy and buttery. They apply surprisingly well considering they're like a couple bucks. But I think a lot of these are expired or old. Like this for sure I've had since I started my channel. Party all night. The shitty thing about Essence is that they are constantly switching up their shades. So I'll buy a bunch of these singles, I'll want to use them in tutorials and then like a month later Later they're gone. So anyway, I'm gonna toss this one because it's old. This one is called Black Goddess. It is very pretty. Hmm, how old is this? Look how nice that is. 
I guess maybe I'll keep it for now. This one's called Starlight. And you know what? This one ticked me off because sometimes what Essence does is they'll spray like a glittery overlay on the eyeshadow. And once you make it past that glitter, it's just a metallic shadow. And I feel like that's super deceiving because I would want an eyeshadow that is glittery through and through, not just the top layer, you know what I'm saying? So this one's gonna go. I think I'm gonna toss these ones as well. Pick this one up because I was gonna use it as a blush, and I think I did for a while. This was a uh, Shrimp Me Up. Don't think they have this shade anymore, so there's not much point of me keeping it. John Lemon. It's kind of like a metallic yellow shade. I just, I don't see myself using it again. This one's called Metropolitan. It's a sparkling effect shadow. Do you see how this one's sparkly, but it's sparkly through and through? Not just an overspray. That's what I like. Kind of like that black one that I kept. For some reason, the silver one didn't have that same effect, but this is just beautiful. So I am going to keep this. I love eyeshadows that have kind of like a matte look to them, but also have sequin effect like this. I'm just, I'm all about that look. Cappuccino, please. I don't see myself ever using this again. I'm gonna toss it. These three are their metal glam eyeshadows. Again, they had that super glittery overspray. And then once you get past that overspray, there's not a lot of glitter left. It's just a metallic eyeshadow. So do I want to keep these? I think I'm gonna get rid of the pink one and the one in the middle because they look kind of chunky. The only one that applies smoothly is the brown one on the far left. That looks actually quite nice. It's called Chocolate Jewelry. What a great name. Let's go through this random pile in front of me, starting with the NYX Primal Colors shadow in the shade Hot Blue. Don't see myself reaching for this again. It's gonna go. You guys remember when Target used to carry Gemma Kid makeup? I do. This is ancient, so I'm gonna throw it out. I've got a single eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. This is called Panther. I actually quite like this. It is is not fully matte, it has a little bit of shimmer. I like to press this into my lash line with an angled brush. On those days where I want an eyeliner, but I'm not in the mood to do a winged liner, but I still want a little bit of smokiness in the lash line, this is perfect for that. So I am gonna keep this. I also really like the nude single eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. Got a single shadow by Urban Decay. This is in the shade Cherry. This is honestly about 10 years old, so I'm gonna throw it out. Rimmel eyeshadow in the shade Intense. Don't see myself ever using this again gonna go. Maybelline eyeshadow in the shade Nutmeg. I was so stoked when I first picked this up. Matte shadows were really hard to find in the drugstore at the time and I had been looking for a nice deep brown shade to do a smoky eye with. Very old and I don't see a use for it anymore so that's gonna go. This little elf duo is actually pretty cute. I haven't had it for a long time so I am gonna keep it. It is in the shade Peach Squad. Wow, can their labels be any smaller? Jesus Christ. I had to go get a little rubber glove for this next group of eyeshadows because they have that annoying sticky coating on them. When I was decluttering my eyeshadow palettes, I said that I can't stand matte coated eyeshadows because when I wipe them clean, they get sticky. Well, these are hella sticky and I really don't want to risk messing up my nails. These are all Smashbox eyeshadows. They're all very old from my retail days. So I'm gonna toss all of them and I'm not even gonna go through them because I don't even think they make these specific ones anymore. Got this with my points at Sephora. I don't know, do I see myself ever using this? You know what? I'm kind of pleasant surprise so I might just keep this for now got these six Jordana eyeshadows that I want to go through I've had these for years and I have used them on my channel but I haven't used them in a really long time and I don't know if it's because I forgot that I own them or if I'm over them you know what I mean they're all matte they are very inexpensive which is why I like using them on my channel but it's been so long that I don't know I think what I'm gonna do is keep them for now give them a whirl maybe tomorrow and see how I feel about them and then get rid of them if I'm over them. Onto these L'Oreal Color Infallible Pressed Pigments. These used to be so hot on YouTube. These bring me back as well. They're super old. Just love cool tones like this. I feel kind of bad throwing them out, but I know that I'm not going to use them. These are all gonna go. Another throwback are these Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo eyeshadow bases or cream eyeshadows, whatever the hell these were. I used to love this one. It's called Tough as Taupe, but I have not used them in a very long time, so they are all gonna go. 
Similar to those Maybelline color tattoos are these two Lee Swatier uh, cream eyeshadows. I don't know exactly what these are called, but this one is Fairy Pink and Tinkerbell. I was gonna get rid of them. I don't know, they're kind of pretty and I haven't even touched this Tinkerbell one, so I might keep them a little while longer. By the way, I had to change my shirt because I was getting swatches all over the sleeves of my white sweater. It was driving me crazy in case you're wondering. Makeup Forever Aqua Creams. I'm pretty sure I tried to declutter this in my blush declutter video. I don't know how it made it back into this video, but I'm gonna get rid of it. It's super dry. These are multi-purpose. You can use them on the eyes or the lips or the cheeks. Shade 01, super pretty. I haven't even touched it. Feel kind of guilty about it, so I'm gonna keep it. I have four Makeup Forever single eyeshadows. I threw out all my other ones because they are super old, but I'm gonna keep all four of these because they're fairly new. I just need to find palettes for them. I'll go through them in case you're wondering. They name their eyeshadows super weird. They're like a letter and then numbers. M540, M600, M846, beautiful shade. I absolutely love that one. M928, this one's gorgeous too. It's like a deep eggplant shade. Anyway, I'm gonna keep all four. These three cream shadows in the front are by Annabelle. They are absolutely gorgeous. They remind me of the Stila Magnificent Metals shadows. I'm gonna swatch them for you because I just absolutely love them. So I'm obviously gonna keep them. Gold, look at how gorgeous that is. Mercury, rose gold. It is so difficult to do swatches with long nails. Here they are swatched. The camera does not do them justice. They are so beautiful. I want every single shade and they are so inexpensive. I'm almost positive that Annabelle is cruelty free. I've got three MAC pressed pigments and a MAC photosphere eyeshadow. I actually like to use this as a highlight. These pressed pigments are just absolutely stunning. I like to keep them in my professional makeup kit for bridal. Let me just do some swatches. Flicker, Blonde Streak, Day Gleam, and this one is Electric Cool. This is more of like a moussey, spongy sort of texture. It reminds me of the Super Shock Shadows by ColourPop. Same sort of idea. Once again, the camera does not do these justice. They are so beautiful in person. You can use them dry or wet. I prefer to apply them in the center of the lid with my fingertips. We are keeping all three of these. Let me just quickly swatch this guy. Like I said, it's an eyeshadow, but I like to use it as highlight. It's just so pretty. This is obviously really beautiful on the eyelid as well. So I'm gonna keep that. This is a Koki Metallic Shadow Duo. So the top part is a cream shadow and you apply it as a base and then you take the pigment that's in here and you press it over top of the base. I love these. I want to get more shades. It's just so beautiful. Let me quickly swatch it. I don't think that the camera is going to do it justice either. I'm just covered in glitter now. So pretty. I probably should have put this in my pigments declutter, but whatever. Just thought I'd throw it in this one. Anyway, I'm going to keep this. I guess I missed this little Maybelline palette when I was doing my eyeshadow palette declutter. It was buried in my single shadow drawer, but I am definitely going to declutter this this. It's very old. I don't see myself ever reaching for it again and I don't even know if they make this specific one anymore. Then we've got two Victoria's Secret eyeshadows. I actually really like these. Do you guys remember when Victoria's Secret used to make makeup? Do they still do that? These were gorgeous. They are very old and I don't see myself ever using them again. Wow, that's so pretty. Too bad it's so old. See you later. Just a little single shadow by Lee Swatier. I believe this was part of their limited edition collection years ago. It reminds me a lot of Club by MAC. Stunning, so that is going to stay. I wanna go through these palettes really quickly because they're predominantly MAC eyeshadows, but there are some shadows in this one, especially that are not MAC, that I kinda wanna declutter to make room for the eyeshadows that are overlapping one another. So I know these two are NYX eyeshadows and they're not magnetic and they don't have names on the back. I know that I'm gonna get rid of this. I believe this is an Annabelle eyeshadow that I depotted years ago and I barely used it. So there's no point of it taking up room. I believe this is an Annabelle shadow as well that I haven't used for years. So that's gonna go. This guy here is also an Annabelle eyeshadow that I haven't used. Same with this one. It's gonna go. Another Annabelle eyeshadow. This is gonna go. And now I can move these next ones in here. 
This little quad here is pretty awesome. I always travel with it because it's just like a perfect everyday eyeshadow palette to me. Bamboo, texture, all that glitters, and shroom. I dug my nail into all that glitters and I'm kind of sad about it. Anyway, I got rid of these five and I'm keeping the rest. Onto my eyeshadow primers, I actually went through what was in this bin and I removed these because these are either glitter bases or concealers and I'm gonna do separate declutters for those categories so there's no point in decluttering them now. So this is what we're left with. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because I think I'm gonna get rid of like 90% since I never use them or I don't really like them anymore. So let us start with the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. Very old. I have found much better primers since, so I'm gonna throw this out. These Essence eyeshadow bases. The one on the left is the original I Heart Stage eyeshadow base. You guys have seen me use this in almost all of my makeup tutorials. It's like a liquid version of Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm also gonna keep my I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. It's a little bit brighter, so it makes colored shadows pop a bit more. I've got two of the Lorac eyeshadow primers. I think these were gift with purchases, and they are very old, so I'm gonna throw them both out. I don't think I was a big fan. Milani eyeshadow primer. I did like that the tube had a tiny little tip like this, but the content of the tube is just not very good in my opinion, so I'm gonna throw that out. Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I wanted to like this because I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I thought that Photo Focus Primer would be perfect in combination with the eyeshadows, but this just wasn't very good. It has kind of like a silicone feel to it. It slips all over the eyelid. I'm just, I'm not a big fan, so I'm gonna throw it out. This is a Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the shade Whiteout. I actually use this as a primer doing like bright eyeshadow looks. However, it is super old and I haven't reached for it in a really, really long time. So for that reason, I'm gonna toss it. Another letdown was this e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I just didn't think it was very good, so I'm gonna throw it out. It is also very old. This is a MAC paint in the shade Bear Canvas, also very old. Used to live in my professional makeup kit, not usable anymore. Onto my potted eyeshadow bases. I've actually thrown out a few of my MAC ones. I'm probably gonna throw these two out as well. Bear Study, it is very loved. It used to live in my professional makeup kit, but it is very dried out and old, so it's gotta go. Painterly, also dried out to hell, so it's gonna go. Lancome eyeshadow primer in the shade Nude. Oh my God, this is so old and gross and dried out as well. So I'm gonna throw that out. I'm doing really good guys. I'm very proud of myself. This is an Annabelle eye primer. I have a feeling that it might be dried out. Yeah, it dried out pretty quickly. So I'm gonna throw this out as well. I don't feel too bad about it because I wasn't impressed when I did try it. And lastly, I have a NYX eyeshadow base that I think I'm gonna throw out because I don't even remember the last time that I used this. Out of all of those primers, the Essence ones have lived to see another day, which says a lot. These are awesome. If you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend them. Okay, on to eyeshadow crayons eyeshadow tubes or I don't know liquid eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna declutter most of these So let's start out with the NYX jumbo eye pencils. Oh my goodness. These bring me back as well This one here is uh, Milk. Do you guys remember this? This is like early YouTube days. It's probably very expired So it's gonna go cottage cheese. What a wonderful name for an eye pencil Totally what I would want on my eyelids. Anyway, this is old too. So I'm gonna throw it out this is Iced Mocha, also very old. It's gotta go. This Victoria's Secret Hyper Gloss Eye Shimmer was very pretty. I'm gonna throw it out for sure, but let's just see if I can squeeze some out. Oh my God, that's so dry. Ew! I don't know if that's satisfying or fucking gross. How pretty though, hey? Wow. Too bad it's gonna go in the garbage. These two Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Lid Line and Lash are actually very pretty. I just don't see myself reaching for them and I haven't in a really long time, but they're not that old. So I think what I'm gonna do is pass these ones on to my sister-in-law. This is a Lise Watier Cream Shadow Tube in the shade Rose. This is gonna go in the garbage. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. I have three Lise Watier Jumbo Eye Cream that are also very old, so they are also gonna go into the garbage. Yeah, these are from like my retail days. This is actually fairly new. It's a Catrice Liquid Metal Long Lasting Cream Shadow. It's actually pretty. Might just pass this one on. These LA Color Jumbo Eye Pencils are very old. I think I got them over five years ago, so they're all gonna go into the trash. <laughs> 
and what else? This is a very old Rimmel eye crayon. It's kind of like a champagne, but it has sparkles through it. So pretty. I wonder if they still make this. I've held on to this for sentimental value reasons because my sister-in-law gave it to me, but I am going to toss it because it's super old. Another Rimmel crayon. This is an eye glistening crayon in the shade Girls Only. This was a cool color, but I never used it. I bought it because it looked neat, and then I completely forgot that I owned it, so I'm going to throw it out. Wet n Wild Idolize Cream Shadow Pencil. I think I was doing a deep blue smoky eye and I wanted a base for it. Anyway, I'm going to throw this out because it is old. And lastly, I have three Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear Eyeshadow Pencils. Winter White, Champagne Toast, and Royal Purple. It looks like I haven't even touched the Royal Purple shade. I don't know if I want to keep the purple one. I'm definitely going to keep Champagne Toast and Winter White. I can use Winter White on the inner corner. I guess I could use the purple one if I'm doing a smoky eye too. Okay, I think I'm going to keep all three for now. So upon further reflection, I decided to pass this purple crayon on to my sister. I'm probably not going to use it. I don't need it. Also passing on these Souffle Cream Shadows by Lise Watier. They're beautiful but I just I know that I'm probably not going to use them so I'm going to pass them on to her and maybe she can get some use out of them. I also decided to declutter these five eyeshadows. This one is another Annabelle one that I missed and these MAC ones are really old and I already have black, white, cream, and sparkly white shadows in my collection already so those ones are going to go as well. How did I do? Well, I started out with 163 products. I kept 83 and I got rid of 80, which is 49%, which is pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Had I not counted these single shadows by MAC, it would have been a way better percentage, but I thought I would be honest and just count the ones that I kept because they are single shadows and it only makes sense to include them in the total. So yeah, I am very excited to throw this out. These are going in the bin for a reason. A lot of them are expired. It would be very unsanitary and unhealthy for me to pass them on to anybody. And the products that I have kept that I feel like are usable are going to my sister-in-law because she loves makeup as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think I should declutter next. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you. Bye.